Hey, what's up neighbors? A Flare here bring you another Destiny video. Today's video, we're going to do something kind of old-fashioned, which is looking at my loot pull from all the fractaline I've donated or invested for the Empyrean Foundation since it's pretty much time to start donating. Uh, we're going to go over some of the stuff I got as well as a very evident issue I've found when it comes to armor. So if you want to hear about that and don't really care about the rolls, you can skip to this point in the video. If not, we're going to go over some of the cool weapons I got and the best armor I managed to get. Uh, but starting off, my resonance rank is 300 and or 338,800. So you remove those two zeros. That's how many times I leveled up my my obelisks, minus two for the tower obelisk, because the tower obelisk gives two, so that wasn't really a rank up, so I didn't get a drop. So we're looking at 3,386 drops, which is times 200, that's 677,200 fractaline invested, but it's 3,386 drops. So just keep those numbers in mind, we'll go over them again in a second, but some of the good, better weapons I managed to get is... I, I really like this old fashioned with slide shot moving target, uh, drop mag because the reload is really slow on old fashioned, and it doesn't have the best masterwork or sights. It could have accurized rounds as well to be a little better, but it's all right for PVE. I have this guy with explosion, explosive payload, and demolitionist, as well as tactical mag. Could run extended mag if I wanted to, but again, the reload speed is kind of slow. And we got handling masterwork on it, but it's for PvE, so this stuff doesn't really matter as much. But it could be used in PvP as well. It's just a fun little explodey kind of roll. Then I have a slide shot explosive payload. This one's a little better because it's got hit mark IS and handling, which is the kind of masterwork you want for it, since it's spec'd out in range pretty much with the two perks. Um, and then we also have a feeding frenzy moving target with a range masterwork true sight. And a pendant mag. And this guy is kind of just your standard roll other than a feeding frenzy kill clip roll, which I did not manage to get. The best weapon I managed to get was this Badlander, which has rifled barrel, accurized round, range masterwork, slide shot, auto loading holster. Um, so pretty much your weapon's always loaded. Sliding boosts the range, and we have max range on it, as well as if you run quick charge. Greatly increasing the ready speed of shotguns, it pretty much grants a quick draw. So rifle barrels decrease handling isn't that much of an issue, which I've had a lot of fun using this guy so far. The second best thing I've got were these guys. Whoop, feeding Frenzy multi-kill clip last hopes. I did not manage to get one with a range master work, but I did get... This guy was the closest one I got with far point ricochet rounds and stability. Handling would have been better, or even reload, than stability, because you don't really need stability on PC, but these were some of the nicer rolls I got, as well as this guy is pretty good, full auto rampage, far point, ricochet, and a range masterwork. Uh, I haven't used it in PvP yet, but I'm excited to give it a shot, as well as some Uriel's gifts. These are only two of them that I've... two of the four that I kept because uh, I thought they were pretty interesting, with firmly planted and tap the trigger, so crouching pretty much just gives you aimbot. <laughs> um, and we got increased rounds with armor, or increased range with armor piercing, and the longest range scope, and a stability masterwork, as well as this guy with dynamic sway reduction and kill clip, because you can't get a reload perk, I don't think, here, so you're kind of stuck with something like this, which dynamic sway reduction is a good perk. Uh, not exactly necessary for Uriel's Gift since it fires so slow, but it's still a, a helpful perk, especially on console. And for the heavy weapons, I've only actually kept one, and it's just because it's kind of for the memes. And it's this guy, because it has Disruption Break, breaking enemy shield with, with this weapon makes it more vulnerable to kinetic damage for a brief period. So if ever there's a boss with like an arc shield, you, I can blast it with this rocket, then switch to Izanagi's, and it does more damage with Izanagi's, but uh, we'll see if that ever happens. And it has a reload, masterwork, counter mass, impact casing, which is good. Quick launch is actually better. We'll switch to that. So quick launch, impact casing, tracking. 
it's just a rocket launcher. Rocket launchers need to be reworked. That's a whole other issue. I don't even want to get into. So now for the armor, we're looking at... So these are the drops I got. Um, the highest rolls that I managed to get. What I was mainly going for was arc pieces, so I could run uh, these bonuses with the, the new Season of Dawn mods. Because I wanted to run Quick Charge and, and things like that. So I was going for arc pieces. For arc boots, this is a 56 roll. was the highest arc boot I managed to get from a world drop. This is from the Vanguard tokens. I managed to get a 58 later on. But 56 was the highest I got from the, the, top, the, the, the obelisks. Um, I got a 58 arc chest piece, a 59 arc gauntlet, and I got a 58 solar helmet, and a 56 arc helmet. So, if you notice, um, out of 3,386 drops, zero, zero had a stat roll of 60 or above. Cosmo did say on Reddit, this is from Bungie, confirmed, that... 60 plus, ar like max stat roll armor, so 66 and 64 that you get off the season pass, that stuff can drop from world drops. It can drop from anywhere in the game. He does confirm this. However, it is pretty much impossible to get it from world drops since, as you can tell, even if one, one of those 2,032 or 3,386 drops, we'll say, we'll say because it's arm for the armor, we'll say about 60% of it was armor from... From the drops because it wasn't all weapons it was or wasn't all armor there was some weapons mixed into there so we'll say 60 percent was armor so 2032 drops to give it a fair chance okay uh, even if one of those 2032 drops was a 60 stat roll armor you're looking at a 0.049 percent chance that isn't even half a percent chance to get this armor it's like it's so statistically improbable for you to get a, a max stat roll armor drop from a world drop, that it's pretty much impossible. You would have to get super lucky or get so many drops for you to get one of like a 60 plus stat armor drop that it's unrealistic. So there's a serious issue here uh, in terms of getting high stat rolled armor since there's no consistent way of getting it other than raids and Iron Banner, and even Iron Banner, I haven't even got that good of rolls. So you're mainly stuck doing raids, which you can do once a week for whatever raid. Uh, if you want current season mods, then you'd have to, you can't even, you can't, you, like you cannot run a raid to get current season mods. Luckily they're fixing this, but it, it's kind of an issue that if you want to run the Season of Dawn mods, you cannot consistently get a high stat rolled armor piece other than the void set that the season pass gives you. So to fix this, they would I, I say drop the have the drop rate be one percent at least one percent for world drops. So you're looking at twenty three out of the two thousand and thirty one ish around that. That'd be a one point one percent drop rate. But it's better than nothing. The fact that I got no stat roll armor above sixty shows that there's something wrong with this armors like the armor system like the stats are great i love it i love grinding and customizing my uh, my gear and stuff with the stats but there's no consistent way to farm it like if you look at crucible all they have is iron banner it, competitive maybe if trials is coming back next season which most likely is looking like it is hopefully that'll have high stat roll armor that you can get from it but right now just iron banner coming what like three times a season is not a reliable way for pvp players to get high stat rolled armor. Competitive should drop it at the end of a game if you win. The higher you are on the ladder, the higher the chance the armor is higher stat rolled. I think that would be fair. I don't know why that's not a thing. Full ordeals sh should drop high stat rolled armor. The higher your score, the faster you complete it. It should like definitely higher the score and time being influenced within the two because you don't want to just speed through it and not kill anything. So a mix of those two, the higher that is, the higher your stat roll armor is. Raids, of course, they can drop stat high stat roll armor. It'll be fixed bit more next season since if we get a new raid next season <laughs> because it's the, the seasonal mods will apply to the present season, the past season, and the future season. So stuff from Garden will only be able to take Season of Dawn armor mods, so it won't even be able to take next season's armor mods. So we would need a raid to have a way to farm high stat roll armor for next season as well but I, if charles is coming back i don't see an, a raid coming maybe but i doubt it they'll probably save it for the summer if that's the case 
And then Gambit has literally no way of getting high stat rolled armor. You cannot get high stat rolled armor from Gambit in a consistent way. I heard tier 3 Reckoning is supposed to drop higher stat rolled armor, but I did a couple runs. I had no luck. It was all 50 drops. Low, medium 50s. I didn't I didn't really get anything. Uh, if you managed to get some, uh, like at least 3 60 stat rolled armor from tier 3 Reckoning, let me know because I don't think it's a reliable way to get armor which is again a part of the issue so you're looking at if you're not doing raids or getting a shit ton of tokens for iron banner you're looking at this 0.049 percent chance to get this good rolled armor so all these armor drops we're getting are literally useless bungie this kind of needs to be addressed and fixed obviously we can't expect it next season unless they've already been working on it but it's something to probably look for towards fixing come the summer or september with whatever comes in september whether it be a bigger expansion or or another set of seasons i don't know but it, it's something that needs to be fixed if they want people to continue grinding in the game because there's just no reason or there's no way to get these high rolled armor pieces unless you're braiding every week and once again there's the whole mod situation that uh makes it kind of redundant to run these raids so that's just what i think I think stat rolled arm, high stat rolled armor needs a higher chance to drop in just world drops as well as it needs to have a more reliable source to earn them and farm them, as I was saying, such as trials if it comes back, competitive, nightfall ordeals, and gambit have some way to get it as well. But that's just what I think. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe for future content. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.